PS ever loaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Y'all see where to follow your boy at already, man. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk about it, man. Son, there is so much to impact what's going on right now, man. And in the words of my guy, easy to block Captain No, usually I don't talk about stuff like this, but there's a lesson in every bar. There's a lesson in, in every situation that you could just sit back and, and watch what's going on, fam. Let, let's let's go here, man. First of all, there's never a dull time in battle rap. There's like never a dull time in battle rap. I've been saying this for years. Battle rap is one long movie. Fam, it's a long movie that never stops. It's almost like an episode of General Hospital. Like the General Hospital is sick. General Hospital has never stopped. It's almost like a soap opera mixed in with a lot of high school behavior at times. And sometimes it's it's past the raps sometimes. Battle rap is supposed to be about the raps. Now at times it turned into a soap opera. Sometimes we like the off the fields antics and situations more than actual raps. We'll quote more more uckery that's going on outside of battle rap than the actual raps itself. But there's a lesson in every bar. Lesson in every bar. Now, we all know ARP said that Swave Sever, Team Hop, Team Homie Sensei. Shout out to my guy Swave Sever, IP, Uncle Ra. I had a good time over there at, at Restore Order when I was there a couple weeks ago. ARP said that Swave called him and reached out to him and to let him know that people at URL specifically, the URL princess, Nunu Nels, had issues with him asking certain questions on a you at Kings and Queens because that's where Sway, you know, sometimes Uncle Rod might not be an assignment and have somebody else take over for him. Whether we see Anwar do it before, we've seen Sway do it before. So, you know, that's what Uncle's trying to get footage. You know what I'm saying? Credit to him that he has guys out there he's willing to take out there to still get footage for his channel and for us to BRC. Now this is where it gets a little crazy, man. Because I guess Nunu Nels is walking by, I would think, and she's hearing Swave Seller conduct the interview with DNA, and the conversation is not about kings and queens, not about the matches or something like that. It has nothing to do with URL. I'm going to be fair on both sides, because I think everyone I can point fingers at. You're at a URL event, and you're speaking about Murder Mook versus Big K. Now... No, no, I'm, I'm gonna be fair now. As much as I can, if you are you, if you like I said, if you're part of URL staff, and you're walking by and you hear that kind of conversation, do you gonna feel some type of way because it's on URL soil, and you're walking by hearing, if y'all want to use the ops word and everything like that, feel free like and everything like that, and who hears that? Was Nunu wrong for telling Swave Sever whatever she said? Because we don't really know what she said that made Swave feel some type of way. That made him want to get on the horn and, and, and let ARP know what was what was what is happening to him. Respectfully, King uh, Swave, I rock with you heavy, but you gotta know, you gotta know how this works, Swave. Stuff like that, you don't call either other party, regardless if you're cool with, with, with both parties. Especially yourself as a battle rapper. Sway, if you gotta stand like something like this, other bloggers and stuff like that could, could and it's not cool for, I'm gonna put it out here, I don't think that's cool for any blogger to do that number one. Nobody should be doing that number one. Respectfully, Sway. You can't vent to league owners. You just can't vent to league owners about the other one. You can't do that. Right? Especially when you're a battle rapper and Sway, you know, sometimes you, you battle on URL. So you never know when you're gonna get that call. That that could stuff like that could mess up your bag, and and things of, things of that nature. So you got to be real careful when you. That's a that's a thin line, Swave. Right. Then you can also on the other side, Nunu. 
was Swain being very disrespectful, little sister, by asking those questions? I mean, it's battle rap at the end of the day. The event is probably over or whatever. And he's asking questions for 15 minutes of fame content. You know what I mean? The question I would have, Nuno, respectfully, sister, is this. Would you have had that kind of energy if that was Uncle Ra doing that instead of Slave Seven? Let me slow that down again and put it in subtitles. Fresh was too surf. Would you have had the because I want to go on energy because the way Slave, you must have said something that that triggered Slave to want to call ARP that made him feel some type of way, and the way it's presented to the public is that it was. I don't know if it was nasty or it was volatile or you had words for him that I don't, I don't I don't get it. I was in there, so I don't know. I don't think Swave gave us a full detail. You can go on 15 minutes of fame right now. Swave laid out, you know, his rebuttal and everything like that. And let's be honest. I mean, we know Swave didn't want to do that. We know Swave is it was hard for Swave to stand in front of that camera, the dogs, and have to speak to the culture and 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 and, and let it out. And, and give us your side. Nobody want to be in that position. Trust me. If you want to talk about the hot seat, that is the hot seat. Right? So, I don't know. Did Sway do anything malicious, in my opinion? I don't think he did anything malicious. You know? Like I said, Sway, you got to be careful, little dogs. You know, yeah, you're cool with URL, you're cool with RBE. But you gotta, you gotta leave that alone. I'm cool. I told y'all numerous times. Beasley, when I lost my channel, Beasley was the one who told me, "Yo, oh, let him in. I rock with you. I'm gonna need you to get back on your one two. And, and I know you lost your channel. You feel you're upset about that. So I'm always gonna have respect for Beasley on that. You know what I'm saying? Beasley and I played a texting game just last week. I texted Beasley the other day about Charlie Clips. That's a different story, a different day. All right. I'm cool with ARP. That's my guy. I rock with both of them. So that picking the side thing, y'all, we pick a side. No, I don't got to pick a side. There's no picking sides here that would be number one. I'm not here to pick sides. You feel me? I try to be, I'm trying to be fair on all sides of the spectrum. Right? So I'm not going to, and me as a blogger, I'm not going to go to URL and talk about any discrepancy if I had if I had a discrepancy with ARP, right? I'm not gonna go to R ARP if I had a discrepancy with URL. I'm not gonna do that. I, that, that that's a game, and that's something that regardless if ARP is my guy, regardless if Beasley is my guy, and, and listen, I rock with both of them. I'm, I'm I have no issues with one of them, even though I do wish sometimes URL would speak more frequently about certain situations. But right, we'll leave that alone. So, I think Swave, you got to really be careful, man. And Swave, I understand that you want people to stop the bickering and stuff like that. Swave, you got to know, fam. Come on, Swave. You got to know that this has been going on for almost a decade now between RBE and URL. Especially with lawsuits involved. And there's not going to be no meeting at the table and let's have lunch at Ruth Chris. That ain't going to happen, dogs. We just know that's not going to happen, Swave. What more can you want? I mean, so you really expect them at this point and this juncture? I'm pretty sure you you said you and ARP have, have, have are cool. ARP gonna let you know how he feels. He don't one thing about ARP and respectfully with URL. I, I, I'm gonna give ARP this the edge over y'all on this. I feel he's more vocal on how he feels than y'all are. Let me slow that down again. I think he's more vocal on how he feels about the, the back and forth with y'all and the things that be going on behind the scenes than y'all do. I think y'all, I think both y'all, ARP and B's their passive aggressive number one, but I do like the fact that ARP lets it be known how he feels, whether right or wrong or different. Do I think ARP should have that, should have said that about Sway? I'm gonna get into that in a minute, right? But, Can't vent to league owners though. You can't vent to league owners about each other, about what they you can't do that at all. And I know battle rappers do that heavy though. See, that's the thing, respectfully. Battle rappers will go to ARP 
and, and talk about their contract situations and what's they not getting battles over here and they'll go to URL. It's, it happens, bro. Let's keep it. We we all know the vibes in that. You understand what I'm saying? So, and I feel URL doesn't rock with RBE. Play this. URL has more issues with RBE than RBE has issues with URL. At a time, I think RBE, not RBE has more issues with URL because of the stuff that goes on behind the scenes that some of us are not privy to know. One thing about this culture, everyone does this. Let me tell you that right now. There'd be a lot of back and forths, a lot of people putting you on about situations. You know how many stories that I've, how many situations I know in this culture that I won't even talk about respectfully to people? You know? And let's be real, son. You all really likes the fact that Nunu and people like Sue Surf will be the mouthpiece for them sometimes. You think smacking them don't like when surfing them go into that KFC talk, which I don't never understand, whatever. You know? When they go into that bag, you think they don't like, they love that. You think smacking them ain't once with surfers out here talking on, on their behalf? He's one of the most vocal person when it, in terms of the URL flag. And the URL princess, Nunu. So. Can't do that, Sway. I know Sway feels a way about ARP putting that out there because now nah, it looks like Sway was picking sides and then you got people not questioning, probably looking at saying, what else did you tell ARP, Sway? What else did you tell ARP about us? That's how URL's probably looking at it on their end. Because we, they can be petty. Love y'all over there, but y'all could be petty. You know what I mean? So according to Sway, Nunu was a little bit extra, I would say. That she was a little bit extra. I would I, I take that as being a little bit more boisterous. Probably loud. And wanted people to hear the way Sway made it sound like I guess she was being so boisterous that she wanted other people to hear her going off on Sway about asking about Murder Mook and Big K on URL soil or an event, whatever you wanna how you wanna phrase it. Right? Now, ARP. Some people would say, sir, that you should not have mentioned Swave's name in an interview. And and and, and even when I interviewed um ARP last week, he brought up Violet's name. Right? I don't think ARP should do that. I can't tell a man what to do. But, and I see somebody saying, somebody, I see somebody, somebody said Nunu was biased for, fam, we all know she, you are a bias. Is that, is that bias? I don't think she's even biased. She's running with the people she run with. So, of course, she's going to be biased. You don't think Lita, um, Lita, Lita um, oh, Wing, part of said Wing, you don't think Wing is biased for RBE? Come on, dog. Y'all got to be, I just saw a tweet coming in right now. Someone said, fam, of course Nunu is biased for URL. That's who she run with. Is that bias or that the people you run with? Now, the only thing I like about Nunu is like, like I said, would she have that energy for Uncle Rob and Uncle Rob conducting that interview? But do I think she was wrong the way she feel? How she feel? I can't say she's wrong. I can't say she's right or wrong on that. You, 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 could, you could conduct that better if you made Sway, if you were nasty about it, Nunu, that's not cool, sister. If you were nasty about it, the way Sway made it sound like, for Sway to go to ARP and say that, <laughs> me personally, I would have kept, kept that to myself. I'm not calling up ARP because Beasley would have said something to me. I'm not going to do that. That's just how I move. Right? Because ARP, you got to understand that. Now you're going to have some people's ARP saying that. Why are you saying that about Swave? You know, what, the things that you let out, part of self. Were you throwing that man under the bus, even though you did not speak about money and all that? ARP, I'm going to repeat that again. ARP didn't say nothing about money. I see people talking about money. He didn't mention that at all. But by him saying that, it looks like you're throwing Sway under the bus because now after you make that, when you make that, when you put that out there, ARP, you have to know the blogs is coming. You got to know Twitter's talking. You know, Sway now had to stand in front of a camera, which he looked very uncomfortable. I know he didn't want to do that. And now he has to address the battle rap community. 
So, and on the flip side, also, if you're ARP at this point, do you give a F? <laughs> I, just, I mean, let's be real, man. ARP has been, at this point, you see the gloves off when it comes to ARP. He's, he's, like, he's more vocal, and he's, he's always been vocal, number one, but he's been more vocal more than he's ever been. He's being more vocal about things that's going on that he's more now than he's ever been before. You know? Uh, Swave said that, I guess he, I don't know if he's expecting a call from ARP. Say, I wouldn't be expecting a call from ARP. I'd have called him myself by now and see what was going on if I felt some type of way. You know, I would have called, if I would have called and see, oh, had a conversation, right? I don't know, man. I have to be careful who you vent to. You have to be careful who you vent to because you never know when that person you vent to is at a peak where they're upset and they're going, they're like, like they've had enough, right? Enough is enough. And I don't mean to show enough is enough back in the day. Y'all don't know about that, youngins. But... <laughs> I wonder if ARP is going to address this in a blog or something, man. You feel what I'm saying? So. And it's straight looking like, yo, will, he, will, will I get booked again on URL? I mean, they don't call him all the time, but is he going to be on the thing that like, now nah, they definitely not going to call me now because they felt like I said something? This whole situation is just wild across the board. This is wild across the board, man. You know, so. Leave comments on the bottom, man. Tell me what y'all think, man. It's your boy three. One.